Hey everybody, it's the last week of January, so this will be the last uh, midweek encouragement that I bring you in the month of January 2021. Um, let's take a look at something. If you get a chance this week, take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 8. Just read all of chapter 8. That's basically one of the readings for Sunday. Paul is writing this letter to the Corinthians because A, he loves them, but B, they're starting to get pulled in all sorts of directions. Uh, the city of Corinth would have been a very bustling city. If you were to ask somebody that lived outside of Corinth about what it was like inside of Corinth, they probably would have said something like, you know, the people there are, they do what they want. They're kind of wild. It's kind of uh, frenzy. But Paul loved the people there in Corinth and he still wanted them to be refocused on, on their purpose. Paul is reminding them about the dangers of, of focusing our lives on idols. And so in verse 2, he says, Those who think they know something do not yet know as they ought to know. But whoever loves God is known by God. See, oftentimes people get really concerned with knowledge. I know a lot of things. I know a lot of stuff. Yet we forget about knowing and experiencing the love of God. He's trying to kind of bring them back to center. Later on, he says in verse 7, But not everyone possesses this knowledge. Some people are still so accustomed to idols. Let me ask you a question. Does your heart and your mind spend more time focusing on the things that are parked in your garage? Or the things that you may have parked in your shed? or the places you will travel, the things that you have in your life. And I'm asking you to make that evaluation just by yourself. You don't have to share that with anybody. You don't have to talk to your spouse, don't have to talk to your kids, don't have to talk to your families, but have an honest evaluation with yourself. Truly, does your heart and mind feel like it spends more time thinking about, worrying about, imagining, visioning the things that you have, or does it focus mainly on the love of God? Last week we talked about uh, the full devotion to God, where our, heart, our, our devotion, our love for God is undivided. Is, would you say that that's where you're at, or are you being stretched in other ways? And that's, that's, that's for you to have that evaluation for you. Don't, you know, just be honest with yourself with that. So I encourage you to read chapter 8. It's talking about idols and it talks about food sacrifices too. Um, but take a look at that and just see where, you, where your heart lies. Um, this weekend, we have a really important Sunday. We have worship on Sunday, 9 a.m. But immediately following worship, we're going to have our annual meeting. That will also be on YouTube, but just keep in mind, you'll need to end, I'll end the service and then I'll start a new um, YouTube link, a YouTube service for our annual meeting. So you'll have to find that if you're watching from home. If you choose to come to the parking lot, you just tune to 88.3, um, but you have to be on church grounds in order to vote. Um, so that's immediately following the service on Sunday. So there won't be any adult Sunday school after church on Sunday. So if you can join us, that would be great. Um, if you're not going to be able to be here, Michelle has a bunch of our, um, the annual reports printed off. So if you want to swing by church sometime this week and pick one up, she's got several of them, um, here at church. So, uh, and then Monday night we have Monday night Bible study. So um, those are the things that are going on this weekend and into Monday. Um, but in the meantime, as always, open the word, take a look, prepare, read ahead, um, think about, pray about how that might speak to you. Okay? We love you. We miss you. We hope you have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you soon. God bless.